Hi, this is Robbie with Tickner Photography, and today I want to do a little Photoshop tutorial. I wanted to talk about how to give the effect of a tattoo on a body. It requires a texture or a design and then applying a displacement map. So here is kind of the final image that we're going to be shooting for. Let's show how I got here. First, I just took a simple picture of myself using some fairly contrasty light and I wanted to specifically attempt to apply a texture, uh, a fake tattoo, onto my body in Photoshop. So the two that I wanted to use are this and that. So we have our two designs, one for the arm, one for the chest. So let's kind of position these somewhat where we want them. Right now we're working with our uh, arm tattoo, I found that a blend mode of soft light works pretty good. I'm going to do a free transform and move this guy around a little bit. Now we're going to do a warp. Let's see here. Okay, something like that's looking okay. Alright, that'll do for the arm for right now. For the chest, we're not going to manipulate it at all, we're just going to somewhat position it. So that is that, we don't actually need those at the moment. The next step in this is to create a displacement map. It's basically a separate image that's similar, but we're going to extremely exaggerate the highlights and shadows. So, image, duplicate. All right, so now we're in a new image. You want these to be the exact same size. It just makes things easier when they're displaced. So the displacement map works basically off of a neutral gray color. Anything that's highlighted or uh, darkened will be displaced a little bit in either direction. So we're going, we're going to create a new layer in here. Shift, backspace, fill it neutral gray. So we switch to a blend mode of overlay, which basically makes it disappear, but we can still affect it. So now we're going to use a dodge and burn, and we're going to highlight and uh, add shadows to things. And this will take a little while. So our dodge tool adds highlights. So we are going to come in here and we're going to highlight things. We're going to sculpt different edges. First I'm going to do it very broadly and then we're going to go in for much more detail. And this is going to look rather strange just because everything is going to be so exaggerated. But this is what the texture is going to follow. So we really want this to have some defining shapes in here. If you see any type of shape, just trace it and it'll really help. All right, so now we're going to create another layer for our burning. Just going to duplicate duplicate this layer, refill it with neutral gray. Come over here, we're going to switch to burn. 55, that's pretty good. 
and now do the same thing in reverse. So this is going to darken up everything else. So this is looking pretty good. Just want to make sure we have some solid blacks in here so we get the most amount of distortion. Because neutral gray should not do anything. Alright, so now we have a basic displacement map. Let's save this guy. Desktop, displace. So now let's go back to our other original image. Going to load our tattoos, make these visible, and we'll start with the chest. We are going to convert for smart filters just so we can adjust this guy. Let's check our positioning of this because once we've displaced it, we don't really want it to move. We'll have to experiment a few times because things uh, wiggle around a bit. Now, let's see, do we want to free transform this at all? Let's see here. That's actually pretty good. So I want to try and contour it down the line that goes right down my body. Okay, something like that. It's a little bit better. And we'll move it. Oops, not that layer. We'll move this layer up right there. All right, so now distort, displace. We'll go with these numbers for right now. We'll experiment with smart filters so we can always tweak this. Desktop. And our displacement map. And I think we have too much distortion, so now we can come in here, displace, we'll try these at 10, see if we can redo that. Alright, that's more subtle. I want somewhere in the middle. Let's go uh, 20, 20. Displacement map again. Alright, now we're starting to see some distortion. You can see it follows certain contours. I like that. It did seem to shift it a little bit to the side. So I'm going to adjust this texture. I'm going to move it over to that side a little bit and then reapply the same displacement map just so it stays a little bit closer to center. All right, that looks pretty good. Now we're going to use a layer mask and paint off the pieces that we don't want. Like here, going across the belly button, that just doesn't look right. So we're going to nuke it. So there are a bunch of minor tweaks that'll have to be made that just doesn't quite look right. Going over arms where it goes around curves, you'll have to make minor modifications for those. Okay. Let me just clean this up real quick. All right, something like that looks pretty good. We're using soft light still. Alright, I'm digging that. 
drop our opacity some. And that's not a half bad tattoo. So now we can apply the same thing to our arm. Uh, we are a smart object. We might have to rasterize him. Rasterize layer, convert to smart object, distort, displace. Same displacement map on our arm texture. There we go. I think it's a little bit too much. We're going to have to back this one down. All right, so let's readjust this guy. We'll do this at 10, 10. Displacement map. All right, I think I like that better. You can see it, it distorts a little bit with the veins, but it's still pretty good. Although it did move down a bit, so let's push this layer up so it'll distort down in the same direction. But we'll keep our dragon a little bit better. There we go. All right, I like that enough. Uh, let's see here. Currently at soft light, subtract has a cool effect. So if you do a subtract and a soft light, Let's uh, do one of those. Okay, so now we want subtract. So it gives it a harder edge, and then we can take down the opacity. So it's almost like it was traced or outlined. It's an effect that I like. I'll do the same thing with the big texture up here. Let's duplicate this layer. And we'll put a subtract on him. We'll increase the subtracted opacity. Decrease our main one. And it's a bit strong. We'll decrease that some too. And there we go. Now I've applied a fake tattoo to my body using a texture and a displacement map. So I hope you found this useful. I hope it inspires you to attempt to do something similar. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. Otherwise, like and subscribe. Thank you. Bye.